Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over how you can get yourself some Gift Herba Mystica in the Teal Mask Pokemon Scarlet and Violets DLC. So there are a lot of post-game side quests you can complete in the Teal Mask once you finish the story mode. And one of the ones that probably a lot of you do want to take advantage of is getting some free Gift Herba Mystica. There are some prerequisites to doing this, of course, but you really want to essentially come to the Kitakami Hall, which is here on the map. Once you are at the front of the hall entrance, the stair entrance here, you want to turn around and come straight behind you to the edge of the area and you'll see a picnic set up with two NPC characters. There is one of the characters here want to take a break. He'll give you some sandwich ingredients, but it is this NPC character here to the right. I make chairs that gives you the Herba Mystica. Now to get the Herba Mystica from this NPC character, you're going to need to have collected all 19 tablecloths. When you speak to this NPC character, he'll start a conversation with you saying any tablecloths you do have, you'll be able to make matching chairs for that tablecloth. Now to get all 19 tablecloths, you're going to need to visit the picnic knack stores in and around the Paldea region. There are three picnic knack stores around the Paldea region. One of them is located in Mesa Goza. You can see here on the map where this is located. You're going to be able to collect the lilac, the mint, the peach, the striped, the whimsical, the leafy and the monstrous tablecloths. They all range in cost from 1,000 polka dollars to around 2,000 polka dollars. The next place you're going to want to visit is Kaskarafa City and you're going to want to visit the Picnic Knacks store in this town where it'll sell a variety of other different picnic attire and tablecloths to match. You're going to be able to pick up the plaid tablecloth red, the plaid tablecloth blue, and the plaid tablecloth yellow. Also, you'll be able to pick up the polka dot tablecloth and the battle tablecloth. Now, these are a little bit more expensive, ranging from 1,500 polka dollars right up to 4,000 polka dollars. But in Kaskarafi, you're going to be able to pick up a five additional tablecloths. And the next place you're going to want to visit is La Vincia Town. And you're going to want to come to the same store again, Picnic Knacks. And you're going to want to pick up an additional five tablecloths here, which is the yellow, the blue, the pink, the diamond, and the spooky tablecloth, ranging a little bit higher in price from 1,500 polka dollars right up to 5,000 polka dollars. So this will take you up to 17 tablecloths that you've bought from the three stores, including the Academy tablecloth, which you get automatically when starting the game. You've got 18. You are missing one tablecloth. And to get this final tablecloth to get the Herba Mystica, you're going to need to come to Cortondo Town and you're going to want to head up to the Olive Roll Challenge. You may remember this challenge from when you did the Gym Leader Challenge way back when you did your playthrough. You're going to have to redo this Olive Roll Challenge to get the final tablecloth to unlock that Herba Mystica gift. Now, this is not a difficult challenge to do, but the key to getting the actual gift from the Olive Roll Challenge is you've got to complete the course with under 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which can be quite challenging. Challenging. And to give you some quick tips for this, the first thing you're going to want to do is just run the ball straight ahead of you. You can actually use Rhydon or Maridon, your ride Pokemon, in this challenge. But for this first part, you just want to walk the ball through to this right area where you can just kind of cut out all of the ramps and bring it round to this side bit. The idea is going to be to bounce the olive ball like this with your Coriadon up onto the, this first ramp here. So you're cutting out the two ramps before it and then use your ride Pokemon to just gently nudge the olive over the top of the ramp. Be careful here because it can kind of fall off the sides and that would mean that you're going to have to start all over again. So you want to just roll it down this way and then the next step is to walk it up the main ramp. You can try and bounce it into the basket at the back where you need the olive to kind of end up but you can just use the walking mechanic here. It gives you a bit more control to walk it up the ramp. And if you just take your time with this, you're not going to have any trouble. Like, just don't overdo it. Don't use your ride Pokemon here. You'll flick the ball way too high and it can get a bit sporadic. You can see here, we just push it over the edge and we did it in 1 minute 37 seconds. So with these tips, you might have some luck in doing it under 2 minutes 30, which you should be able to do. It is just a little bit tricky, but uh, these little tips hopefully will make it a little bit easier. Once you've done this, you're going to get that 19th final tablecloth that's available in the games, which is the black and white or the B&W 
tablecloth and that is the final one that you need now after obtaining all 19 tablecloths in the game you want to head back to the kitakami hall and speak to the npc character that makes chairs uh, he'll go through talking you through the tablecloths you'll give him every single tablecloth that you've got available and he'll make the respected chairs to match those tablecloths you'll see the items will be received as you go through but on top of this he will say that now he's got lots of designs to kind of go off he will give you a bonus gift and a set of herba mysticas so you're going to get too sweet too salty too sour too bitter and too spicy herba mysticas for doing this challenge so it's a pretty nice way to quickly get yourself two Herba Mysticas very easily with very minimal effort. And I feel like it's a nice little side quest to know about, to go out, especially like I've said, if you are a shiny hunter, you will be able to take full advantage of this little gift that's in the post game of the Teal Mask. So make sure you do take advantage of this, get your Herba Mysticas while you can in your game and get out there and do some shiny hunting because it makes getting those sparkling sandwiches a lot easier. So that is everything for this very short video today. I hope it has been helpful. If it has, do drop a like on the video. It really does help and do hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content we do here on the channel. Currently covering all of the Teal Mask content, so lots more content on the way with that. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Since then, take care and bye-bye.